What's going on everybody? Killer Team Gaming here and I am going to show you guys the full gameplay demo exclusively on Stadia for Mortal Phoenix Rising. Now this is an upcoming Ubisoft title that's due out on December 3rd of this year and there's a lot of hype for this game, there's a lot everybody's interested in what they want to talk about and how it may look like a clone of Breath of the Wild which I have to say it does but um I was pretty excited playing this demo um, combat is very good, the navigation is great. Uh, right here on the screen, I was just going through like what's available in different difficulty settings just to see, you know, how much of a difference it was between one to the other. Uh, see here, we got a little bit of a loading screen. Uh, I'm not gonna harp on that too much because, I mean, it's video games. We expect loading screens at this point in time, huh? So now, here we are. The sun rose on the palaces and temples of the Golden Isle. Their facades still and empty. The gods within, lost. But not Phoenix. Fighting with all her might, looks decent, she had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would uncover a historical secret. Phoenix had arrived on the shore where the great warrior Philoctetes had been left to die, a snake bite festering on his foot. How did he survive this little island? Why did Odysseus pick him up and carry him to the Trojan War, a war in which Philoctetes was fated to kill Paris, the instigator of the very war that. Bones! Stop fantasizing about random nobodies and tell the real story. What real story? Phoenix was about to enter the domain of the Cyclops, where world famous hero and sailing enthusiast Odysseus had nearly met fire his here to the mortals. It was there he was chained to a mountain to have to a raven or some bird like creature peck at his liver for all eternity. Of the gods. Zeus, the Cyclops' cave was in the great sea. Don't care. Also, forget the cave. I want to appreciate the view. You can't just ignore historical accuracy. That's your problem. Accuracy. Because clearly I can. And what is the secret of the gods? Oh, you don't know about that, do you? Oh, master of knowledge? Well, well, listen and learn. Of you. Hello? Anyone in there? Phoenix eyed the Cyclops, keeper of the secret. But he was silent. The poor wretch had been frozen by the sea witch Circe's icy magic. Circe is on another completely different island. Or is she? Also, she doesn't have ice magic. Not ice. I see. She sees things and then There's transforms There's some comedic them. humor to this, but it's, uh... It's not that great. You know what? I bet you that you cannot enlighten us with one truth during your story. Not one. Done. What's your favorite food? The fruit from Grandma Magaya's garden. Gods, I miss the taste. The juice was so rich, it would flow down my chin. Divine. Ah, oh, yeah. Those babies were delicious. Babies? From the mosaics? You know that's just a visual metaphor, right? The fruits of the earth are not literally babies. Ah, that explains the soapy aftertaste. Right. If I lose the bet, you will be allowed to partake of the fruit. Now, if I may... Phoenix realized only the song of the sirens would free the Cyclops from Circe's spell. Circe, you're mine. Oh boy. Not quite. Circe and her pops aside. So this game seems like it's going to be narrated in a, the aspect of third person omniscient. Which is cool, but we'll see how it goes long term. 
Uh, combat here seems okay. You know, you got your, your basic three hit combos. It's nice though you can chain together uh, different attacks. Aerial to the ground. To lift up attacks. Things like that. And here's just the inventory menu itself. So you can see um, what's equipped. You have the sword, the axe, bow and arrow, the wings, helmet, and a chest plate, which is pretty simple. And here you can see the skills that you can actually um, unlock and upgrade. And it's also showing you combos you can actually do. So nothing too crazy here. Something tells me like when retail game releases, you're not gonna have all of these abilities available to you right away. Which only makes sense. And then this section here with godly powers, there are uh, combat abilities. The combat abilities to the godly powers are very, very useful <laughs> in fights. Extremely useful. And there's so many more that we can unlock too. So that's going to be interesting to how it's how it's going to be at launch. But this year, Phoenix hurdled through the air, and then a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared on her back. By the gods! So I can move fly. rapidly through this Those as well, do not too, to which does all use of stamina, and everything. The entire time. From your abilities to how you move. She just had to believe. All use up stamina. Even uh, charging up here to throw this here is actually using up stamina as I held it. And gliding, as you can see, is going to use my stamina, which I so irresponsibly used up before jumping. So, yeah. I was like, ah, let's dive bomb and then uh, see what happens. Apparently, you can't just... Uh, jump into water from high heights because then that will actually inflict fall damage on you word to the wise the environments as you can see it's it's very rough to the wild-esque especially with how you climb Now this part here, we're going to go to the Cauldron of Cersei and actually craft some potions. Potions you can craft by finding items throughout the environment, which is nice. Like uh, pomegranates, there are nice some mushrooms or something. Phoenix kind. let the Each empty of those will actually indicate in what type of potion it's going to go to. And then For instead, example, the pomegranates will go to a health potion, potion the blue mushrooms will go to a stamina potion, which you'll all be able to see right here. Um, in the top right, you'll see those five options for ingredients. And of course, they go to the corresponding color for the actual potion. Yeah, so there's an attack potion and a defense potion. And you can also upgrade the effectiveness of the potions later on in the game as well, too. Which is actually very, very useful. So at this point, uh, just taking a look around the environment, the water looks okay <laughs> from the waterfall. 
It looks much better actually in the, the large bodies of water, as you can see here. wonder if there are like any further upgrades to flying. And of course, swimming and also right here treading water does use up stamina. So it's always good to find a piece of land to sit on for a little bit, recharge up, which doesn't take long, which is great, and then get back to what you're trying to do. the other ingredient golden amber that's increased the strength of the potions which we need at a later time it's nice that you can jump out of water in this game Here I search for the best possible way up. Uh, just to make a note of this, you don't have to climb where there are vines, but the vines usually lead you in a direction closer towards your objective, in a sense. But you can climb on practically any surface in this game. As we finally almost reach the top. Uh, another battle ensues. And let's go to the our action attack. Now, um, there's a little blue bar underneath us, guys. Think of that as like a stun meter. Once you walk out there, the game will kind of freeze for a second and then turn yellow. They'll be stunned for a period of time. If you do hit them while they're stunned, that meter does drop. So keep that in mind. Yeah, the guys with the shield, quite annoying. Yeah. Also, you can use um, the pop-up attack as well. Every enemy you kill has this nice little, uh, little, little home run that you throw them out to. Which I think is nice. So here we can see we unlocked a new sword called Envy. And, you know, of course, each everything, every single thing you use has different stats. Then you can also level them up and unlock a new bonus perk for them as well, too, which is nice. So you see how the, saw, uh, the sword of um, Achilles there, and then the Envy sword. We're just going to equip Envy for now. And then Phoenix is uh, the familiar that we have with us. Phoenix with Phoenix. Go figure. So now we're going to head to uh, the next destination. You know, out of curiosity, I'm wondering with myself, you know, how much stamina can we actually have throughout the game? Phoenix couldn't wait to have the secret of the gods in her clutches. She would rule over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals so, fire. Those yeah, are the ingredients I that are actually for all eternity as punishment. Throughout Good the point. game in multiple areas. Why is she trying to help you? Exactly. And there go those blue mushrooms I was mentioning earlier as well too.
And there's this uh, shiny item on a statue here. So you know we're gonna go get that, without a doubt. Uh, the item in particular is called Ambrosia. Now the nice thing with the Ambrosia is it actually will increase your health. Now, I got a little stuck at this part because I was hoping to just be able to reach it without doing anything extra. But I have to do the extra, which is fine. But here we go. and Poseidon would never give up until the mortal fell. There we have Gorgon alongside these uh, soldiers. There's a little bit of damage here. That's alright though. As you can also see there, you can see the enemy hit the other enemy. So enemies hit each other, we like that. We like that a lot. I'll be honest, I'm not really hugely impressed with the bow and arrow strength. Maybe you see, Phoenix knew the truth. Odysseus was a spy sent by mortals to steal the secret of the gods from the Cyclops. Polyphemus. Gesundheit. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, Circe and Poseidon would never let Phoenix see the secret. This spot looks weird, like it opens up. And I believe that's one of the things they call the Hephaestus Vault. Which we'll probably only be able to see when the game launches. Uh, as you can see here, we could do some more uh, stealthy actions here. We're going to see our first stealth attack. Which wasn't a one hit kill, which was kind of disappointing in my eyes. I was expecting a self attack on an unaware enemy. Even if this demo would be a one hit kill, that's all we have to leveling up to do. This guy hit hard. And he also throws spears. And healing from a potion is very quick. There's no take the potion and watch it slowly regenerate. It's just instant health, which is nice to see. Maybe that's different at different uh, difficulty levels, but we'll see. Now we're going to check out the new helmet I got. And the new chess piece. Oh 
I didn't understand when I first played through here with those crystals before, but those crystals are to eventually actually upgrade your items. Whomever thing they uh, so aptly let out of the demo. But what they're giving us here is nice. Now, if you guys have noticed, my stamina meter is now lower because this set of armor I'm actually wearing gives me more health but less stamina like the other set did. Hey you! What a cute little- Skip! It's a Minitone, but actually Cerberus! Was it he with Hades that weekend? Did I say Cerberus? I meant it Griffin. Why did this ship Odysseus hid under to escape from Polyphemus? No, a lion! Might as well be a flock of roosters. Oh, good call? You're not serious. Yeah, so this is a... Uh... of the sea. Isn't that tuna? Summon uh, I don't know what to call it. It's crack up a ridiculous. <laughs> But there, you can see the godly powers in combat, which is good for different enemies. Almost recovered the siren song, which would dispel Cersei's curse. The only way to do that is with herbs. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid. It's now awkward. here you can see our Phoenix. very first Phoenix puzzle. Phoenix felt the invisible hands of her ancestors, giving her the strength to move mountains. This is that's not the strength not of her ancestors. Puzzle. She's wearing the braces. And I of had to come in the mount to hold it. This isn't some magical object that renders heavy things. And light. there I go, not reading. Prometheus, please forgive it's me. Love. <laughs> Did it again. But that's all right. One thing I'd say is I may change up the button mappings in the future to change the attack and dodge. I'd much rather all my attacks and dodge be on the same face buttons versus shoulder buttons and face buttons, but that's just me. And I see there's a lock, which is probably locked until we actually complete this puzzle here. So let's take a look at these other areas around nearby and solve the puzzle. So that's where we need to get to. And as you can see here, there's this little switch which deactivates that. So this part of the puzzle is very straightforward. And then you can see here it tells you to charge throw the object and there's an opening up top so you throw it in lands on the switch there takes that off boom now you can sprint with this I've noticed that sprinting with items while you're carrying them is weird to say the least not weird in a bad way, but you know, it doesn't allow you a good range of mobility. And there I go, not reading the puzzle map again. Please forgive me. And we got our last one to get to, which is over here. And we got a big boy. Now you can see there's a detection meter as well too, which is nice to see. This guy, as you can see there, once he uh, summons his allies there, he has a little shield that pops around him. Enemies like this, I'm not going to be more, but this guy in particular, you have to take out his allies with a shield to be able to hit them. And up there, he kills them. He's stunned. And now we can lay into him. And 
And there's not much knockback on the, the bigger opponents, so keep that in mind. You're going crazy like I am here. With no regard to your health. Now you can see we have uh, another part of the puzzle. This switch is kind of similar. So I treated it the same, but as you can see, it's not heavy enough. And there we have the big box, which is heavier. Now, uh, the bigger ones you can't carry, you can push. It makes me one of the types of puzzles that are going to be in this game, which is nice. So far, there are, you know, switch puzzles, there are arrow puzzles, or challenge, an arrow challenge puzzle, I would call it. I'm not sure if they'll do an arrow puzzle for an actual part to get through the game. Um, here I go, try to be cool. And trying to land this exactly in the spot. It almost did it. Looked cool though. And there I go. Pushing a little too hard. I'm gonna drop that in. Puzzle solved. Yay, yay, hooray, hooray. And we're gonna take the siren song and now we'll head back to the Cyclops. Yeah. Yep, we took the big old uh, liar. That's right. Following the big old in liar there is putting our back and it just disappears. Was ready to break RPG the logic. And learn the secret. And or die trying. These were harpies. This is a side quest. No one dies on a side quest. Here you are, killed now. Please excuse my uh, my poor arrow shooting. For the, of this. the way this game is set up, I see myself going to fight with the sword and the axe more often than the actual bow and arrow. Or maybe until I get a stronger bow and arrow. Now there are new wings, but the wings are only cosmetic so no real actual change to the speed of flight or stamina drain which would have been nice to see or maybe they just haven't introduced that and they will into the down in the actual uh, gameplay itself when it launches which I would like to see so now we're gonna head back The, uh, you know some blue crystals that could be useful so freak it out why not collect them and I'm such in the habit of X being attacked on other platforms that I just press the X As I fly through here, um, I didn't get to it on this playthrough in the demo, but here is the arrow puzzle. Ah, so you see, Phoenix uncovered a set of targets. Philoctetes had the carried puzzle, his faithful you weapon, the bow of Heracles, the, um, arrows here Apollo on the Crazy Island. Tada! And then, History. once you reach I the end, no idea you what unlock you just the chest. Said. But and clearly, Phoenix needs to use the bow of Odysseus, which she recovered from the Pegasus Netherverse to light some stuff on fire. Uh. And you have other creatures that you can actually kill in the game as well, too. These bears are huge. Ah. 
out the other bear did you hear that loud explosion at the end of that one I don't know Stop the attacks aren't one hit of quitters, but they do a crap ton of damage. And uh, I thought you could just chop down trees for the hell of it, but I guess not. And I heard uh, a little warthog in the area, but we're gonna leave that alone. And you'll see these air vents periodically throughout areas in the game too, which is nice. Keep in mind, ironically enough, this does use up stamina. Which confused me at first, and I hope they change that in the retail version of the game. Because I feel like if you're using that air vent, the air vent shouldn't cost you stamina to use. Phoenix would have to forge her own path to the top, just as Philoctetes once did to signal to Odysseus. You see, Odysseus had Good old pomegranates for your for health potions. He needed the bow of Heracles to win against Troy. So he carried Philoctetes to the Trojan War. I can make up names too! Hieronymus Bosch! Zeus, Philoctetes is famous. He's the son of a king. That explains why Odysseus had to carry him to the Trojan War. In breeding. It's hit now that was funny. I did not. Finally! Go, Phoenix! And we're getting closer and closer now to the actual final part of the demo where we actually face off against the Cyclops. Which I would have to say was a very entertaining battle with a very large enemy, a boss enemy. And from what we've seen in the trailer so far and what's been said, it seems like there'll be quite a number of larger enemies to fight. Just like that, Phoenix freed the Cyclops from Cersei's curse. Oh, why Cyclops? What is the secret of the gods? The Cyclops turned to her and spoke. Phoenix, the secret has been inside you all along. What the... The Cyclops said, I am but a small piece of a planet that is alive. How is that a secret? I've traveled back through time to prevent a terrible future from occurring. What is that I yeah. see that thing. Oh, come on. Actually, the Cyclops bellowed. I smell human flesh. I'm going to liquefy your insides into an amphora after I toast your organs with my laser. Lasers? Yes, lasers. Randomness. Are you a child? 
The Cyclops will focus the light of the sun through a single eye. Actually, you'd need a magnifying glass. No one asked you! And as you can see, she's kind Forget of aware of what's going on. It's kind of like a break the fourth wall kind of thing. Not entirely. Let me tell you I did a perfect dodge. So a perfect dodge is perfect parries. You can do that. I was thinking, okay, hit him in the eye. Maybe that'll work better. But melee combat is much better. enough when you actually land hit you'll be gauge that battle wasn't too tough but if you're not paying attention and dodging when you're supposed to you'll get hit a lot And the new armor does look pretty cool. The end. So no secret of the gods after all. Huh? You have lost, O Zeus. Not one truth in the entirety of this ridiculous tale you have spun. I, Prometheus, am triumphant. What do you have to say for yourself? No, I'm... I'm... I'm sorry, I was eating. And as you can see God, through here, this is so juicy. the map, it, the it looks kind of, of large. Gaia? What can I say? Too large, like Never a make a huge. bet when you're chained to a rock. Actually, that's the secret of the gods. Oppression! Hey, did I just so win you can the see bet? there's a lot more to this game. Um, combat is great. Navigation looks amazing. And here they show like here a pretty close trail of what you can do actually in the game. This looks nice. Or what to expect in the game when it finally launches. And when you're done, you finally get a gear set item which will be linked to your Ubisoft account. So when the game comes out, you're good to go. And that is it for this demo. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hit the like, subscribe, do all that nice little YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.